Hello everyone, I'm Macintosh Empire, and today I have like my first video in like three years. Um, pretty much what we're doing is installing um, Leopard 10x5 on my PowerBook G4, but um, I'm be making two partitions. So one partition is going to be Leopard, and the other partition is going to be Tiger, if I can find the disc. Tiger. So. So yeah, let's get uh, right into this. So we'll boot first into the Leopard DVD. So go like this. Of course, you hold the C key on boot up. If you, in case you can't hear, like my um, disk drive inside this power book is like really, really loud. <laughs> And it should be coming up in a minute. Okay, so obviously when you boot up from a disk drive, uh, it takes a really, really long time for it to boot up. So I think I want to like cut it out uh, right now and I'll come back when it's on the installer. Okay, so I didn't change uh, cameras because my iPhone I like to record uh, in 1080p for too long. But um, we did boot up to the installer. And so, of course, we we'll use English as the main language. <clears throat> I'm using my um, S2 right now, so um, it's in 720p rather than 1080. Um, utilities, disk utility. And we're gonna, like I said, create two partitions. Um, one for uh, Tiger, one for Leopard. Two. This one's gonna be the last one. I'm just gonna put 20 on. This one's gonna have 54, and of course, like I said, I'll name this one 10.5 Mac HD. This one's gonna be named 10.4 Mac HD. 10.4 Mac HD. So. We get 10.5 Mac HD and 10.4 Mac HD. So I did back up all the stuff that I wanted to keep those currently in this install because I do have Leopard on this currently. But I wanted to make a new install just because it's quite old because I got this laptop with that install on it. So I don't even know how old the install is. But um, we got all the stuff I want on this, so I should be good. So we'll apply the partition. And Macintosh HD will be erased in these two, so we we'll partition. So we'll wait for this to partition the drive, then we'll get right into installing. Okay. Now we'll, so this is partitioned, we'll continue, agree, and 10 by 5 Mac HD is when we're going to be first. Um, Okay, good. I was reading that because I thought it said that I couldn't. I was like, what? Um, uh, okay, that's not where I do that. Okay, we'll go here and then we go customize. So, I don't want printer drivers because I don't print from this. I do want initial fonts because I do use the Adobe Suite. Um, language translations I don't need. Deselect. Okay. I don't need X11, but I do want additional fo fonts. <coughs> Done. And we'll begin installing. Um, I will connect to the power source when I start, so I'll do that right now. Got my um, charger on the floor over here. Knocking over things. Oh, I can skip this. We can uh, skip this. Check and install DVD. Plug this in over here. If it will actually work. Oh, there we go. Or not. Or not. Okay, there we go. So, um, I'll keep you guys updated what happens throughout the install installation process. Okay, so we've got the install succeeded screen on screen now. So, we'll just go restart. 
and now we're going to wait for it to root up into um, uh, leopard install we just made. I hope it'll um, like automatically root up into um, the partition that we actually installed the OS on rather than booting up into the other partition that's just blank. I'm just going to remove this disk right now. Because that sound is really annoying after a while. Or it's done with a jack there. Okay, nice. So it is booting up right into Leopard. Angus doesn't want to eject for some reason. <coughs> oh well, we'll just wait for it to actually boot up, then we'll eject it on the desktop. If you're wondering what that sound is, I'm <laughs> um, playing around with my flash drive. I'm pretty sure that the uh, first boot up does take a little bit more time than like other boot ups. Oh, sorry, I'm forgetting we have to do a setup process as well. Oh, there's be an intro video as well. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, here's the intro video. I think. Yep. Okay, so <coughs> we'll go United States, a US keyboard, don't turn some information, uh, wireless network. Uh, so I'll enter all this uh, information and then I'll be back. Okay, so Leopard installed successfully as you can see. I will set this up later, so we're going to go straight into installing um, 10.4 Tiger. Next, we're just going to eject the 10.5 DVD, and then we'll um, stick the 10.4 DVD inside of there. Then once it, uh, I'm not even waiting for it to recognize it. I'm just going to restart. And I'm going to hold on C. Oh, not yet, but it actually does come up. Now. Okay, so it should come up shortly. Okay, so again, these boot-ups from uh, DVDs do take quite long, so I'm going to come back when it is fully booted up into the installer. So it actually came out faster than I expected it to, so we'll just go English as the main language. Then we'll, this one will be much faster because we don't have to um, do the whole, uh, what's it called, uh, partition. So then we'll go to 10.4 Mac HD. Continue. Uh, customize. Don't need these. Don't need these. We'll install. Uh, so I guess again my charger isn't being recognized. If it actually work, there we go. Continue installation. Skip this. 
and I will, uh, like I did last time, come back when it is just about done. Okay, so the install has finished, so we will go to restart, and then we will just wait for it to boot up into Tiger, assuming it doesn't boot up into um, Leopard first. I actually don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to hold on option. That way I can actually choose the Tiger Drive just to be sure. So, that's 10 by 5. Okay, so it is set to 10 by 4. But I gotta wait for this to um, finish searching for things. <laughs> so I'll just wait. I wish they would just like let you like click that before, um, not before, but like while it's still looking for stuff. Okay, so I'll go right up into 10.4, and just like with 10.5, there should be a intro video. Then I'll do the installation, like information and stuff like that, whatever you want to call it, and then we will. Um, be booted up into the desktop. So we'll just wait for this to um, boot up to the intro video. Here we go. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to take since it's the first time uh, booting up. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. Or not, just not even going to like finish uh, doing the bar. Let's see how the volume is. Okay, volume's good. Oh, we have some messages. So, United States, do not transfer my information, U.S., so I'll be back when we're on the desktop. So we finish it during our information, and we're just going to hit go. And now it will boot up into the Tiger desktop, as you can see now. I uh, don't need to do this. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Not many people actually, like, dual boot, uh, different OS's on, uh, their Macs. So, uh, this is quite different. Um, if you're new, please subscribe, because I am going to try uploading every, um, Saturday or Sunday now. But, um, so, yeah. If you're, like, interested in, like, PowerPC or even just Mac stuff in general or Apple in general, um, please subscribe, because I do do stuff with this PowerBook. My... Um, Power Mac, my iPhone, and um, I will do like videos on like many many other things too. So like um, some PC videos. I have an iMac. I want to do a video on next week. So um, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe for all that content.